the state in, the, in all said and done, we found that the state, the amount of money, I'm not talking about the amount of money spent, but the amount of money that ought to be returned to the state, not committed to any contract or project, I wanted to over 106 billion naira. In particular, the commission found majorly as follows. One, flagrant contravention of the state public procurement law number 12 of 2010 and all other extant laws on payment from public treasury of the state, which is a serious offense under the law in Imo state. We also discovered payments for non-existing contracts and projects and the multiplication of contract awards and payments. I didn't want to use the word duplication because if it's duplication, it would have been fair. Because duplication means one and two. But this is multiplication where a particular contract is duplicated into about three, four, five different places and payments committed to such a number. Outrageous inflation of contract prices. Execution of contracts through direct labor by the functionaries of the government with their professional skill, supervision, monitoring, certification, and even handing over some projects to the beneficiaries, resolving in shoddy and poor quality execution of projects. And it may trace the excellency also to know when we talk of direct labor, you will see most of the records reflect a lot of contractors, companies, corporate companies, which actually were there on paper, they did not do the work. They were presented as contractors, big contractors for those various projects. Their names and accounts used for siphoning money. And having listened to you this afternoon, it's very clear to me that you took time and you did a thorough job. So I'm delighted that you were not influenced by pressure and did not submit to the side talks. But you took time, dotted the I, and crossed the T. As you rightly recalled, I've been under a lot of pressure on arrival to this place to disband these committees. Nobody was able to convince me or advance any reason for such action. If not for anything, Today it's clear to Imo people that some civil servants who are still serving can be resilient and can be upright going by a recommendation. I want to assure you we've come to right the wrongs. We've come to ensure the odd things of the past are not allowed to remain. 